What's up guys? Welcome back. My name's Travis here on Thumbs Up Run where we're talking about buying tickets, selling tickets, and making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Just the other day, I mentioned on Ticket Tip Thursday that NFL policy had recently changed on how they're selling tickets through Ticketmaster. There were a few new terms and conditions they had to agree to prior to actually going ahead and making that purchase. So today we're talking all about those changes. What did I do? I read through the entire policy and I highlighted three main areas which would be relevant to you guys. But one, the cancel and postponement policy, how that's changed and how that affects the, any refunds that you may be getting. Two, any health and safety guidelines that are related specifically to COVID-19 and the NFL. And three, just anything general that doesn't quite fit in those first two buckets. Let's get started. All right, first off, number one, let's talk about canceled events because obviously this is the number one risk. If an event is going to go on, it may change in the future. Oh dear. Oh dear. <sighs> Scary. Technical difficulties dealt with. Let's continue. All right, so number one, the first thing I want to talk about, canceled events, canceled tickets. What's going to happen with your tickets when an event is canceled? So basically in the terms it says, should there be an event that is canceled, it will be up to the event promoter to actually go ahead and make that determination. And once that determination is made, you will then be eligible to get a refund. So if in the NFL, an event actually gets canceled, that game is no longer taking place, they've canceled it, it's done for, it's never gonna happen, you will then be entitled to a refund and will follow the standard refund policy. So that would imply getting an actual refund in terms of cash dollars that you will be eligible to get once that event has been officially canceled. Nothing too exciting there. But where it gets more interesting is the next part. If there's any event where seating capacity needs to change, whether it needs to be reduced or limited to no fans at all or limited number of fans, or if there's any kind of rejigging to where people will actually be sitting, Ticketmaster has the ability to simply cancel your seats, cancel your ticket purchase, and just issue you a refund at their own discretion. You do not have a choice in the matter. If there's any kind of rejigging done to the seating capacity, Ticketmaster and its sole discretion can go ahead and actually cancel your seats. This is irrelevant of whether you want to keep your seat or not, whether the event is still going on or not. It doesn't matter to actually go ahead and cancel your seats. Generally, this clause is really more geared towards a situation of when the event could go from, you know, 10,000 people to 5,000 people. Ticketmaster has the ability to go ahead, cancel any tickets either related to that change or in general to the event itself. So just keep that in mind. Make sure if you hear anything about seating capacity changing, anything like that, be very, very careful. Pay attention. Make sure you go ahead, take a look at your tickets. Make sure they're still active, valid, ready to go for, for when you go to that event. And like I said, if the event ends up being limited to very minor number of fans or no fans at all, Ticketmaster, again, will have the option to just go ahead and send you that refund, cancel your tickets. Now, what about rescheduled and postponed events? So recently, NFL had to move a lot of games due to the Tennessee Titans outbreaks. Basically, a lot of teams are being affected by this at this point, and it's likely to continue going into the season. So events are likely going to be moved around, postponed, rescheduled, that kind of thing. So very important, pay attention. If an event ends up being postponed and or rescheduled, the event promoter has the option. They are not forced to. They have the option to go ahead and issue refunds for those tickets. So again, if an event is postponed or rescheduled, this is an option that may be given to you, but may also not be given to you. So just, just pay attention there. And again, if the event is rescheduled, is postponed, is put to another date and you aren't able to use that seat and they have not issued you a refund or not given you the option to get a refund, you unfortunately are stuck with those tickets unless you end up selling them. You can't just assume you'll be able to get a refund if the event has been postponed or rescheduled. It's very important. I'm going to repeat this again. If an event is postponed or rescheduled, you are potentially given the option for a refund, but it is not a guarantee. Now, should the event eventually move from the postponed stage, the rescheduled stage to the canceled stage, then the refunds will start flowing in nice and dandy. Nothing too special there. But if it stays in the postponed or rescheduled brackets, Refunds not guaranteed. Now we're going to move into the more exciting stuff, health and safety. Specifically, it's a lot of things are related to COVID-19, you know, directly. And so they have introduced a few clauses here, which you are stating that you will abide by and agree to prior to and at the event itself. And specifically, you're agreeing to the NFL fan promise. If you do not abide by the NFL fan promise or you choose to ignore any of the things that are in there, you can and likely will be kicked out of that event, not be allowed to enter the event, and you will not be eligible for a refund for those tickets by not abiding by these rules. Therefore, very important, you make sure you understand what these are and that you are going to agree to them throughout the entire event. This includes even when you're in the parking garage, getting into the event itself at the main gate, while you're at the event, and then also 
also while you're leaving. NFL Fan Health Promise is very simple. Basically, if you agree that you're going to stay at home if in the last 14 days you or anyone in your party has been exposed to COVID-19. Within the last 48 hours, if you have any symptoms, they actually list out all the different symptoms there. You can go ahead, take a look on your screen. Very specific. Very, very specific. Uh, sometimes you may not believe that, oh, I just have this little sniffle. It's not a big deal. But it actually says here, if they catch you sniffling, they're going to kick you out. So be careful. No sniffles. No, 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 no. In the last 14 days, if you've been coming anywhere where there's been a quarantine advisory related to that, you know, state, province, territory, country, any of those things, if you've, had, if you've been anywhere or in contact with anyone who has been, you know, in one of these quarantine advisory areas, you are also agreeing that you're going to stay at home. And if you're coming from one county going to another county, and that first county has an advisory and the second one does not, if you're traveling between the two of these places, unfortunately, you are actually agreeing that you will not attend because of these advisories. So keep that in mind. And the second point of the NFL fan health promise is about ticket pod integrity. Now, if you don't know what ticket pod is, you can go ahead, click up over here. Click up in the corner. I have a video which I just put out on Ticket Tip Thursday talking all about Ticket Pod. So very, very informative. You can get all the information there. But basically, the very basics is if you're buying seats, you agree that you and your entire party will all be sitting in that same section and that you will not break up that pod. Therefore, if one or some of you are not able to attend that event and you decide you want to sell the extra tickets, you can't just sell the extra ones. You have to sell the entire pod together. You can either use all of them or none of them. There's no way for you to actually go ahead and break up this pod. Make sure you maintain pod integrity at all times. And the last thing, number three, the general things that you basically agree that you're not going to be suing uh, either Ticketmaster, any of the related people related to the event going on, or any other fans, you, yourself, others who are going to be sitting near you, around you, just anyone in the building. You're accepting the risks that you are undertaking related to attending that event due to COVID-19. And this relates to any kind of interactions, whether it's ticket vendors, people you're spying food from, whether it's Ticketmaster somehow. It doesn't matter that you're basically saying, I understand that there are risks involved with attending this event due to this pandemic, and I am still going to attend that event and give up a lot of my rights. Just, just keep that in mind, okay? If you have any questions, you can go ahead and write to them. You can either write them a letter, or you can send a little email, and they'll get back to you, I'm sure, at some point. Or, other option, go ahead and leave a comment below with your questions. I'll read them, I'll answer them, I'll do it with a smile. That kind of covers everything related to ticket policies, related to NFL ticket purchases. Again, you are agreeing to all these terms and more within this policy by going ahead and buying these tickets on Ticketmaster. If the NFL team you're buying your tickets from uses a different ticketing platform, it's very likely they'll have very similar terms as well. So make sure you go ahead, take a little peek in there, make sure it all jives, you're agreeing with everything, it's all good. Otherwise, go ahead, buy those tickets, have a ton of fun, and remember, say that's all i got for today hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely remember to hit the like button down below also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because lots of great content coming up every single week and see you guys next time